Hi my friends, my name is Ren Like the Bird and welcome to my very first unspoiled playthrough of Fran Bo. This game was recommended a very long time ago to me by Michael when I asked for some suggestions of other games to play on their channel. I've really been looking forward to playing this game. I don't really know anything about it other than what I read um, the description on Steam. We do have this warning here that says this game contains disturbing images and scenes of explicit violence gore, self-harm, sexual harassment, animal cruelty, body horror, mental illnesses, flashing images, and drug usage. These themes are presented through the creative thinking of Fran, a young child who undergoes trauma. The game is sprinkled with fantasy, innocence, and her endless curiosity. However, it may still be distressing to some players. The player's discretion is advised. So I just wanted to read that, let you guys know that's pretty much what I had gotten from the description as well. Take care of yourselves in whatever way you need if you choose to watch this video. These themes seem like they could be pretty intense and difficult for a fair amount of people so like I said just take care of yourselves in whatever way you need. Okay I was about to click new game and then I just wanted to show you guys like look at how her eyes move as you move around the screen. I'm assuming this is Fran herself. Um, I think this intro screen is really interesting like this pill bottle is a little like mm, curious. I'm curious why this is made out of wood. There's clearly keys involved. Um, we've got a ticket, a watch, a feather, a jeweled scarab. It looks like kind of a lapel pin and some bobby pins. So looking forward to it. I am <laughs> very curious about what's going on. Okay, this game uses an auto save feature. Beautiful. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder... Oh, kitty! It's a cat, so sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. It's a cute name. My best friend. My only friend. We're having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday, my parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. The little kitty licking milk, so cute. We're having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. The music's getting more ominous. But something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. It's mom screaming. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. <gasps> Mom? Dad? Please don't. Oh, mommy, daddy. Oh, my God. Oh. Is the kitty leaving? Are they leaving the kitty behind? Friend, please follow my voice. 
On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Oh. Fran, how do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. I feel like dying. Um, let's say I feel like dying. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you make me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. My parents are dead. Recovery? Don't you get it? My parents are dead. Oh, poor thing. Everything will get better, I promise. That's not very consoling for a kid whose parents died. Like, yeah, everything will get better, but is it ever really going to stop hurting? Like, mm, better than let me go or nonsense. I'm gonna say nonsense. Promise? That's nonsense. You just keep me here. We keep you here so we can take care of you. Is she in a facility? But now I have something for you, Fran. What is it? Or, oh, really? Let's say, what is it? What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Is it this? This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. Lost and found. Use Aunt Grace's letter on. Can I examine it? Dearest Fran, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She's worried about you, Aunt Grace. Well, that's another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. Again, not very consoling or convincing. So tired of all of this. I'm so tired of all of this. I just want to go to my room. Yes, you can leave. But before you do, it's time for your new medicine. Hmm. What medicine? No more medicine? Let's say what medicine. What medicine? It's called duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Don't trust that. Anything new today, Dr. Dern? Dern? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. I don't wanna... These are the pills that were on the opening screen. Anything else? I don't feel good. Also, can you guys, like, fix the light? Like, do you not have money to run this place properly? <gasps> oh, what the hell? Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Dude, you're the one that's gonna have control over whether or not she takes it. Like, I'm assuming you're the psychiatrist with the actual power to prescribe. Like, the nurse is just helping you out. What? Whatever. Beware, friend Bo. If you leave the House of Madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up! Is that the kitty? The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Oh, the kitty. 
Chapter 1. My Sober Day. Oh my god. Okay. Creepy as hell, that clown. We've got a cross and the walls are peeling. And uh, some papers? Can we look at this? I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. Well, the light's not working here either. Ooh, the eyeballs. What's this? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. It does the same as before, huh? Interesting. Anything in here? Locked. Good reason to be curious. Can I do it again? I should get the key for this. Still closed. I will get your nose. I'll get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. Oh. Name Franbo Dagenhart. She's 10 years old. History. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of side effects. Documented July 25th, 1944. Psycho? What? I'm not that for sure. Side effects. Effects affecting one side of me, maybe? Oh dear, I really wonder who brought me here. Hmm. Red and tiny, you were hiding from me. Oh, the kitty. And then there's pills. Hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Oh dear, I miss you so much. I will find you, Mr. Midnight. I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be just fine. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Can we click on that? Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. What about the bed? I don't want to. I just woke up. Oh my god. Holy moly, something fell. Yeah, you guys have zero funding, apparently. Ooh. Oh, it's like a prison. Look at this. You have like a rec yard. <gasps> She's got like a straight jacket on almost. Tower defense. We have a crazy person for you called Fran. Or is it defense tower? Um, I guess that is my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. <laughs> she does have a very large head and little tiny stick arms. Oh my god. What about this? I can still walk around it and see what's on the other side. Okay. Can I click on any of the lights? No. Alright, let's go this way. Oh! Lost and found. Oh, oh, a secret box. Shh. Let's examine. Wooden box. It's open. Can I use it? A key! This will certainly open something. Okay. Can I leave? There we go. Does the key open... this? <gasps> Yay! Yes! Yes, I got it! And there's something inside. A picture and a bobby pin. Let's examine this. Use bow family picture on. Oh, I'm assuming mom, dad, her aunt, and her little kitty. Oh, my dear family, I will guard this with my life. Look at her little haircut. I will find my kitty and then go to you, Aunt Grace. I know Aunt Grace will take good care of me and Mr. Midnight. I wish my parents were alive. Oh. My hair clip, I should make good use of it. Yes, but on what? 
The little bear. I hope somebody loves you. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. Oh, what Mr. Horse, are you having a good time? Back and forth. The trip of our lives, yeehaw! I used to have a blue dress like yours. Kind of looks like her with the haircut. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. All right, let's talk to this kid. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. They're just stupid. I have to go find Kitty now. Bye. No, we're going to keep talking to him. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. I'll try and find Kitty. Bye. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. The key? Is there a key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Who's him? All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And no one will help you escape. Leave me alone, I hate you. Oh, that's horrifying. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Did you find the doctor's code yet? It's in the office. I did not. Fillmore Bronstone, he's eight years old. History, the patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust and re he refuses to be questioned. Documented April 6th, 1944. Oh. If I sit down, I'll eventually have to get up. So what's the point? Wow, I am not that strong. I sit down and I'm like, well, guess I'll just stay here. <laughs> to be seated or not to be seated? That is the question. A Shakespeare queen. Oh, okay. My legs are just fine. Um, I'm not disabled. Oh, it's boarded up. Yuck. Um, not so easy to see through this. Is that the playground? Maybe somebody already tried jumping through this window. Oof. Ouch. That's scary. What about this one? Oh. But then you can see the playground in the exact angle? Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. Um, I like the bunny swing thingy. It makes me dizzy. Yeah, it looks cute. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Okay, duly noted. Empty bottle, empty glasses, nothing useful. I like how the nurse is just like, yeah, I'm gonna let her poke around everywhere. Towels? Towels? I don't need towels. Anything else here? No. Oh, I wanna know what she's writing. I'm curious. I guess the nurse won't ever let me touch anything. I know that the nurses always keep the medicine, but where? I'm curious, yes, but the nurse is still in this room. She would go crazy if I touch anything. I better go talk to her. Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Oh my god. Oh no, so many days. I should find Kitty. <gasps> Your cat is probably dead, girl. Now leave. I'm working. That's so awful. Oh, I forgot something happened. See, you're nothing but trouble. What is it? 
I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally? Pfft, I have to fix this. Follow me. Can I steal the pills while she's gone? I guess the nurse won't ever let me touch anything. Can I take stuff now? No? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go follow her. Oh, she fixed it. <laughs> oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Oopsies. Alright. Can I go back and talk to her again? Nurse, something happened. See, you're nothing but trouble. Same thing. Alright. Again, accidentally broke the curtains. How do I... Hmm. Can I... Bobby pin? Interesting, okay. Can I go this way? It's not gonna let me? Okay, well, live fast, die young. All right. We will get the pills in a hot second, I suppose. All right, room four, let's exit. If I can, of course it's locked. Bobby pin time. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. What else do you need? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I do not understand. Okay, let's go break the curtains again. Because clearly we have to do that. And then we're going to tell her we broke the curtains. Oopsies! Wait till she's gone. Trying things out is good, but in this case it won't do anything. What about here? This won't work. Wait, I skipped it too fast. What did it say? Not sure what to do with this. My legs are just fine. Playground, good night. Can I use the bobby pin on the window? It won't do. What the heck do I do? Want to know what she's writing? I'm curious. Can I use it on this? I'm clever enough to find another solution, I think. Am I though? Because I don't feel like I am. It can't be done. Where does she keep the medicine? Can I go this way? What the heck? Oh, I grabbed a hook. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside. Now let's talk to her and tell her that we broke the curtains. I broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Accidentally. Pfft. I have to fix this. Follow me. All right, wait till she leaves. This won't work, huh? Can we use it on the window? Negatory. Huh. Can we combine the bobby pin with the hook? No. Can we use it on that? No. Alright, let's go talk to her. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? <laughs> what's a hook? Um, what's a hook? Well, I have to go find something to fix this, you little girl. You little rat bitch. She sucks. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Oopsie. 
Now can I look beautiful? Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop bleeding. Ew. Violent trauma can have a great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia, like Phil. I've got a brain drawing. Hmm. Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Trauma is a word the doctor loves to say. Hee <laughs> hee. That brain looks like a turtle. Does it? I don't know if I see it. Room 04. Nursing visiting report. Nurse's name Gladys. Patient name Fran Bow. Tell patient has been sleeping the patient has been sleeping almost all the time she only wakes up to drink water but i don't think she remembers that after drink remembers that after drinking she goes to sleep again she hasn't been social for three days now some kids have come around and asked about her and when she's and when she would come out and play Druitine 8h interesting Nurse's handwriting is awful. It is awful. I only understand three words. Fran, sleeping, and duotine. Maybe it's duotin. Interesting. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me grab a piece of paper and we can write down some clues. Okay. One. Let's see. It said hide. So we have eight, nine, four, five. Yeah. Oh my, she's a gun. This is terrible. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. Leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Yeah, girly, you do. Oh my God. Okay. Let's see. Use eight. Nine, four, five. Hi, right, the pills. He told me these would help me. Alrighty. Can I... Wait, maybe I should... Sometimes things just don't work. Alright, we're gonna leave that gun alone. Can I take the pills? It was not me. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. Just go away, you weird creatures. Ugh. Dude. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up. Please, bunny, just wake up. Messed up. Who did it? Blood. Oh my god. Find him. Oh. Oh, the audio. <gasps> oh my Christ alive. Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you alright? Fran, she's looking a little dead. Like, long dead. Hello? Huh. Excuse me, nurse lady, this may be very useful. Where did you get that? Is this actually a hallucination? Towels, towels, watch your step. Not so easy to see through. <gasps> a handprint? Ew. Okay. Get out, creepy creature. What are you, huh? Tell me. You like to see me sad? You got a little blood in your mouth. Are you okay? I don't think it is, girly. My mommy also had blood in her mouth. She looks sad. 
What? Messed up, dude. So messed up. Can I use a needle on this? No. Okay. Narcy, dude. Oh, he's got a shadow over him. Is there anything else? Hmm. You can see. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What is that black thing sitting next to you? He's telling you things. Can you hear it? Phil is playing with his uncle and the uncle is mad. Mad. Phil is crying. Oh, poor Phil. Do you see? You killed the bird. Your mommy is not happy. Uncle will die. What? Hello? Oh no, your head. I'll try to put your head back on. I'm sorry, can't help you, Mr. Deer. Casual, super normal. What? Let's go down these creepy ass stairs. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. Is that Aunt Grace? But she has to know you can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition isn't stable yet. You don't understand her. She's a very special girl. So is she seeing this? Or... Oh my god. Like... Was she imagining it? The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Foxy, why are you so sad? The cross is gone. Where did this clown go? Hope he's not around here. Yeah, me neither. It looks like he escaped from the painting. What? Nasty. Is he here? To happiness. Is there anything else? Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. Okay, we did talk to that already. Let's try the needle on the door. Almost, but there's another hole. I'll need something else. Can we combine these two things? No. Ugh, the shape isn't right. If I were bigger, I could knock it down. It fits, but there are two holes. Can I combine these two things? Yes! Oh, fantastic! My very own special key! Boom. Yes! To happiness! Oh, I see. We're following it. What was that? Daddy was that not there. Mommy would not care. That's ported up to the maze. We never get to play there. Whoa, tonight the fog is pretty thick. I wish I could get lost in there. Ugh. You're my beloved friend. Bip, bip, boom. If you want to hug me, try and catch me. Brrrm, bip. If you can't catch me, it's because you haven't found me. Bip, bip. You're my beloved friend. Okay, so there's two doors here. Did we come out this one? Ugh. Toys. I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. Maybe if I touch it, it will jump and scare me a lot. Hmm. Alright, nothing happened. It must be dead. Casual. Oh, that plant is very dead. You can see it. Adelaida Fugens, age 7, female. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dieren has become close to the patient through drawings therapy. She's making progress. Documented March 17, 1944. Tiny, tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Oh, God. 
You shouldn't blame yourself. Be quiet. He takes away your innocent inner child and devours it. Nobody believes you, although the wounds are bleeding. You should blame yourself. Be quiet. I wonder if the shadows are the people that hurt the kids that are in here. Like, if this is the one that abused her and then Phil's uncle was the one that, you know, messed with him. Snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. And your booty will be flat like your face. Normal things to say. Very normal. Where did the clown go? I hope he's not around here. Girly, he's right there. It looks like he escaped from the painting. Oh my god. Water closet? Is this a bathroom? Yes. The king likes drawing. You scared me. <laughs> Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. I don't like this. Yeah. Understandable. I don't either. What? This wasn't here before. Can I get in there? I'm clever enough to find another solution, I think. Hmm. Can I, like, give one of these children a band-aid or something? Do you need a band-aid? No, um, why do you look like a rag doll? What have they done to you? Please, somebody tell me something. Does look like a rag doll, doesn't he? Can I take more pills? Oh! <gasps> oh! Fascinating. Oh, she looks disturbing. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. A teddy bear and many other things. Flowers not dead anymore. Real flowers. They smell so sweet. The drawer is empty. Alright, we read that. The clown is disturbing. I've seen so many and they all look sad. This one is very happy though. Good for him. Send me a clown. This bed is very pink. Yes, it is. Hello. You see them. You do, right? I don't buy. <laughs> see what? The creatures that follow everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. Girl, that didn't answer the question. Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadows. Crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. I want to find my cat. What are you drawing? Ooh, I'm going to ask what she's drawing. What are you drawing? Something. What is it? My dreams. Go now. Your dreams. Hmm. Hello. Alright. No, I don't. Bye. <laughs> snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. Disturbing still. Alright, water closet action. Let's go. The throne is empty. I didn't realize that anyone could see me pooping. Gross. I can and will hold it. <laughs> That's so funny. Disturbing. Yeah, I understand, friend. Oh my Christ. Huh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door was closed. But you left it open. I'm sure it wasn't open. I know, because I locked it. How did I get out then? It was open. Hmm, don't try to trick me. Go back to your room and wait for the doctor. Ugh, I have no time for this. I have to find my way out. What if we just use the gun on her? Oh my god. Did you break out of your room? That's not nice, Fran. 
But I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I won't listen to any of your excuses, young lady. These people are horrible. I'm not making up excuses, sir. We have to learn how to listen to those in charge. <laughs> Just because you're in charge doesn't mean that anyone needs to listen to you. Like, respect needs to be earned, so... <laughs> Lesson learned, you big people. Let's just go along with him. Of course, sir. Lesson learned. Just don't do it again, Fran. Go and eat now, then go back to bed. Can I talk to Phil again? Okay. Going down the stairs. Hmm. The gate is very locked. I guess I've never seen this gate unlocked. Not even when I first came here, because I don't remember that. Okay. Oh. Okay. Sir, the key hanging up there, can I have it? Ew! Sure, I could give you the key if you give me a kiss. I literally, when we walked in here, was gonna be like, well, he looks... gross. And very suspicious and like it's giving like Ted Bundy and he's nasty you should kiss your butt what a bastard you can kiss your butt I told you a kiss for the key what do you say eh disgusting an arm extension would be nice I'm a short person because it's early in my development an arm extension would be nice. The blackboard is empty. No drawings. Hey, get your hands off the office door. Does that say anything? Oswald Asylum, child psychiatry chief, child psychiatry chief, Dr. Marcel Dearn. Annie Schultz, Demian Goldsman, Fillmore Bronson, Charles Hick, Fran Bow, Jason Koch, Lisbeth Morgue. So, the visits have just been to Phil, Jason, and Lisbeth. Oh, you look... Good. Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? I mean, you're just kind of vibing there, girly. I just wanted to know if you're feeling okay. I don't want to tell. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all my thoughts. He ate your brain? He'll eat yours, too. I saw you inside the doctor's office. You were dead. Oh, no. Then I have to go. I hope you find new thoughts. Bye. Oh, my lord. That cannot be good for your eyesight, my dude. Good night, shiny toys. Have you seen my kitty? He's the most funny and clever guy. You would like him. Elephant, sir, you are very pink and soft. Yeah, he's cute. You look like you've been training at the circus. And your tummy is filled with love. Clowns on the walls in the house of madness. You're way better inside that frame than down here, sir. It must be beautiful to make people laugh. That's a nice thought to have. Oh my god, I didn't even notice this one. Um, because those clowns are not doing it for me. Your tiny hat is very sweet. The smile on your face is quite scary. Yes, it is. Did you say something? Ugh, creepy. What? The action men. Could either of you help me find my kitty? The soldier lost his leg in the war. And the cowboy ate the princess. Disturbing. Little paper boat, take me to the sea and beyond. This reminds me of it. I wonder if this paper boat can sail. Because if it sinks, I could drown because I can't swim. Oh. The pink sash is mine now. Anything else in here? Hanging on. Huh. Well, I don't think it would fit me anyways. Talk to this little monkey. Little ape. Would you like to help me escape? With your big muscles and hairy arms? You could break through every wall. Alright, let's talk to these kids. Hello, what are you doing? 
doesn't work. The paper isn't working. What do you mean? The paper should be working like they told me. But what does the paper have to do? I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Oh, I see, but why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Kill Monday. That's the... Oh. I going to say this is the developer. Do 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 Disturbing. Human testing approved. On what? Patrick Height? Hmm. Nothing else? Let's give him the sweet little nature. Still not working. Paper vision negative. Change again. What about this? It works. It works. It's a miracle. Thank you. Paper vision positive. Great. Can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers that didn't work. Oh, thank you. I suppose I can use the paper to write or draw on. I'm busy. Paper vision revision and action. Huh. Alrighty. Isabel. Oh, it's gotta be Lisbeth? They call her Isabel? She won't wake up. I guess that means she's heavily sedated. Oh. Oh my god. Christ. What up we here? Chocolate. Mmm, yummy. I don't like bitter coffee. Girl, you're 10. I hope you're not drinking coffee at all. The menu of the day. Mmm, pasta. What have we here? Same thing. Let's see. The signal is weird. It must be because we're so far away from everything. I don't really understand what they're saying. Is that that kid making that noise? Wait, I think it said mommy loved to paint. Yes, mommy loved to paint roses. I don't like this painting. It feels like Mr. Oswald is staring at me. Well, I guess Mr. Oswald is very old. Old enough to be dead. I mean, you could be dead at any age, my dude. Mr. Midnight, are you here? I suppose not. Oh dear, what should I do to find my kitty? Mm, the kitty. The sofa made to be sat on. I can't sit, the sofa is taken. This smells like poo. Normal. Um, let's talk to you. Hello. Oh, hello, Fran. How are you today? I see dead animals and fine. Let's, um... Oh my god, I want to say I see dead animals, but I feel like, um, we don't need more fodder for the, you know, asylum energy, so let's say fine. I'm fine. Glad to hear you're well. Carry on now. Open the yellow door. Nurse, could you open the yellow door? That's not very appropriate to ask. I think you should go to your room now. Oh, so sorry, miss. I didn't mean to say anything inappropriate. Very well, Fran. Go play with your friends now. What, Fran, what is it now? <laughs> Can I borrow your magazine? No. Damn, okay. Look, young lady, I spend all day listening to everyone's problems. It's late now and I'm very tired. Just leave. Alright, bye-bye. Won't bother you anymore. Girl, it is your job to listen to everyone's problems. If you can't handle it, then something needs to give. The grandfather clock is big and grand. Tick tock, tick tock. It will never stop. Well. Hello, are you new here? I haven't seen you before. No. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. Do they? You're wearing some very suspicious clothing. What's your name? Would you please kill me? Please. I don't want to say sure, but I also don't want to say I have to go. Bye. 
Sure, bang, you're dead. Thank you, I can't talk now, I'm dead. Disturbing. A little lemonade. I'm not that thirsty. I miss Mr. Midnight, that's the only thing I know. Yummy! Mmm, I can see the cinnamon bun melting in my mouth. I freaking love cinnamon buns. I already took one. I wonder if that pasta was cooked today. Not by the looks of it. Yeah, it's looking like gruel. The salad looks fresh for once. Milky milk, I guess this carton is all sour, like always. Disgusting. Oh my god, this girl looks ready to Ralph. Can I talk to you? No? Okay, bye, girly. How come she has shoes on but no one else does? Birdie bird, I like you. I wish you could take me out of here. Can you? Fly away. What are you waiting for? I don't want this. I'm not hungry. I guess if Damien eats the boss, I can't be that bad. So is Damien picky? Don't disturb me. Go away. I'm eating. Bother him again. <laughs> Same thing. Someone left a mess. Annie loves to drink milk like a kitten. Sadly, she's not my cat. I'm gonna miss her. I guess she won't remember me. Hmm. Don't touch my sword. I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I'm your king. What? You're not the king. I'm only the king of the whole universe. Bow to me. Oh, I bow to you, sir. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? I want your walking cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness, your sword. What would you give me in exchange? Anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. What does that mean? Where's my castle and horse? But I don't know where to find them. Sometimes a closed door gives you more than an open one. Good advice. This door is always locked at night. I can't go out and play. Anything else? I guess I'll have to wait until tomorrow, but that's absurd. I have to find my kitty. Hmm. Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. Alright, let's see the bunny thing. We saw that at the other one. What about this one? Okay, same deal. Can we talk to you? Girly, you are not doing so hot. Hey, Annie, how are you? Aren't you afraid of me? Yeah, why would I be afraid of you? No, why would I? Because I can do magic tricks and make you sleepy. Like hypnotism? Magic tricks? I didn't know you could. Show me. Show you, but it's very scary. It's better if you do it. I can't. I'm not a magician. I can give you the magical stuff. Really? Woo! Yes, the magical stuff that'll make anyone fall asleep. Drugs? Oh, that's amazing. Powerful and grand. Here's a, it's a gift. Take it. Slowly. Bills? Mm. All right, how does it work? I have no idea. Okay, bye, girlfriend. Disturbing. Bran, what is it now? Nothing. Okay. Bran, I told you, go mind your own business. I'm very busy. All right, let's take some pills. <laughs> No, the nurse lady died. I wonder who did this. It wasn't me. She smells real bad. It feels like the smell is all over me. They hide you because they love you. They harm you because they hate you. Oh, little boy, everyone is ashamed of you. Oh my god. 
They are dead. It's alive! If Kitten were here, he would probably attack it. Hope it doesn't start following me. Yeah, I hope not too. Please, tell me if you can hear me. Why do you have this creature next to you? He's staring at you. Maybe he wants to eat you. That holy man took all your clothes off. What the fuck? Oh, how pretty all those roses are, right? Your mommy doesn't believe you? Okay, so... Seems like he was abused by like a priest or something. Also, the kids in the window left. I did not notice that, but that's disturbing. What? So gross. Oh my god. That's upset. This is upsetting. What the? F Teddy, what are you doing here? Are you on your way to meet another Teddy? Say hello for me when you get there. Do you need a band aid? <laughs> no. I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I will hide you inside the shadows. Oh! <gasps> what the fuck? Oh no, they did it all wrong. They cut your head into little pieces. Please, take me out of here. Please, take me out of here. Look at me. I say you're beautiful while I give you poison to eat. Oh, that's upsetting. Wake up, Isabel. The black shadow is touching you. It says you're going to die soon. Are you afraid of death? I hope not, because it might happen even if you don't like it. That is so upsetting. Ugh. Reach the key. Sticky, bloody parts. I don't want to touch it. I wonder what part of the body that is. Yeah, looks like intestines. Uh, Mr. Pig is naked. Mr. Pig has no wings to fly with. No flying Mr. Pig here for me to see. You look crunchy pig's head ready to be served. I wonder who would eat this. I think my kitty would be afraid of it. Oh. Christ alive. Ugh, this clock sounds odd. It feels like it's whispering right in my ear. Hmm, I can't understand what it's saying. Hello up there, miss. Your dress is very pretty. My mother had very pretty dresses too. Disturbing. A bleeding clock. It's like time is broken and stopped. I find clocks a bit depressing. Yeah, I can imagine. All right, we're gonna follow her. Where are you going, girly? She looks so unwell. Where are you going? Are you just walking around? She must be. Do we go back and talk to the nurse? Oh, she's not there. All right. You know, it's really disturbing to me that the nurse just like left a gun unattended in a drawer that is unlocked. Like, disturbing. I wonder what the blinking is, it's very hypnotic. I wish I could shut it down. All right, let's take this. No, I wanna use it on Fran. I'm clever enough to find another solution, I think. Can I use this? I wouldn't even try that. Can I give him the cinnamon bun? Sometimes things just don't work. I told you, a kiss for the key. What do you say? Should I combine it with this? <gasps> Magical cake now, a sleepy, sleepy cake. Should I use a drug cinnamon bun on the guard? No, um, look girl, if you keep coming here, I won't be able to control myself. Ugh. Oh 
my god. Disgusting. Hello, are you alright? Oh yeah, we talked to her already. Nothing, bye. So fucking nasty, dude, that guard. Ugh. Pull that gun right out, you know? Disgusting. Are you just gonna chill? She's just running around. Okay, who should I... Should I use it on myself? Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? Hmm. Use pink sash on... Can I combine it with this? Now I can use the rope to tie the hook with something. Okay. Should I use it on this? Negative. Hmm. Wait, let's look out here. You never get to play there. Okay. You see them, you do, right? We talked to her already. So... What if we give the drug cinnamon bun to him? I don't know what it does. This is not a good way to escape, but maybe the... Let's see. Can we use this? I'm clever enough to find another solution. I think. Hmm. It's not working. It makes me angry. Same. It feels like a chilly breeze of sadness is blowing through this fence. I wonder what they really do down there. Maybe I don't want to know. Okay, um, she said something about crayons and I never did anything, so let's take one of her crayons. That's mine. My crayons. I just like this green crayon so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green then. That's ridiculous. Oh, that's true, but you have so many other colors. Yes, many colors, but you know, they don't like me drawing. Ooh. The nurses, they tie me up, and when I want to draw, I can't. That is so messed up. Yes, they tie me up sometimes, too. It hurts. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Look. Oh my god. Please cure me, yes, and stop the red milk. Let's see what I can do. Okay, that's where we get the band-aids. Oh, sweet thing. Oh, thank you. You can have the crayon. Now go, I have to draw. Thank you. Um, okay. Let's... Oh no, let's go down here. Robert had paper. Do we need to talk to him with the crayon? Maybe? Ah, things not working makes me angry. Get out, danger, paper vision, revision, and action. Oh my god, I have a hair on my lip. Now I can write or draw when I'm bored. Oh, I'll draw something special for the king. Beautiful. Alrighty, let's go back to... What's his face? Damien, right? Or something? Yes.
his little bowl cut. Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamt of. You can take my sword now. It's yours. Thank you. Thank you. Can I combine these two things? Yes. Now I can reach high. I'll call this the Grabomatic 2000. Alrighty. What do we need to grab up high? The keys? Mayhaps. Can I use... Hey, 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 give me that. You can't take that key. It's my grabomatic. But I worked hard on it. It's my grabomatic. Give it back. Shut up. You don't make the rules. I do. This toy of yours will stay with me from now on. You bastard. I will get it back. I will. Do whatever you want. I'll never leave this chair. Okay, well, guess what? I got a little donut. I brought this cake for you. I don't want any trouble, so I brought this cake for you. I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. Please take it. It will make your life a bit sweeter. I don't care about making my life sweeter. Now leave. So you don't want it? No, now leave me alone. If I call emergency, I don't think they would help me. This table isn't interesting at all. If I told you, I told you a kiss for the key, what do you say, eh? Okay, did I mess up trying to use the grabomatic while he was there? Hmm. Take some pills. See what happens now that the grabomatic. No, nothing. Hmm. Let's de pill. Oh, there's a nurse. I told Marcel about the latest delivery, but he hasn't looked at it yet. Well, he'll catch up soon. Hey, Gladys, would you do me a favor? Sure, anything but bring coffee to the guard. Why not? I can't do it because I have to take care of the children. I have other things to do myself. Sorry. Mm. Fran, what is it now? Let's do nothing. All right, oh goodness, sorry, lovely fingers. This coffee is hot. Wait, can we combine this and this? No, okay. Where did she go? The nurse just like peaced out. Okay. Let's try and do this now. Bring coffee to this nasty, nasty man who deserves jail time. I told you, a kiss for the key, what do you say, eh? Here's your hot, hot, hot coffee, sir. I thought we might spill it on him. She's like, fuck you. Look what you did, you insane orphan bitch. You did that on purpose. Now I have to go change. Gah, it burns like hell. Don't you go anywhere, you little shit. You're a nasty piece of work. I hope you die. My grab a -matic. Let's use it on the keys. Thank you. I got you. Now I can unlock the office. Can I go in there? The doctor's office. The code must be in here. I can't do that. Locked. How obvious. Dog, I literally just had the key. Thank you. Ooh. Let's take those keys. Yoink. It's always good to carry an extra key. So true, girly. No pictures or funny riddles. Mr. Midnight could tell me a riddle. He loves them. This book is not interesting. The yellow typewriter. I could write a letter to Aunt Grace. Dear Aunt Grace, get me out of here, please. Vision, taste, and hearing? I learned some of this at school. I don't remember it all. The books are all the same. I wonder whose head that is. Mental Health Global Week. I wonder what people do at those gatherings. What a lovely painting. I wish I could draw like that. Testing day. Every day is testing day. It says DH. Now testing. New testing day. Try on something with two 
what, milligrams maybe? October and November. I guess we're in October now. October 19th? What a tiny text. Thoughts of Marcel Dearn. Um. Mental disorders. You are not alone. Join us today. Oswald Asylum. What? An interview with Dr. Dearn about working with children. Oh, the code and some important information. Finally, Dr. Marcel, turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. Alarm code. Okay, let's do this. Let me write this down. This looks like a nine. Oh, I've seen this before. What does it mean? Yeah, wasn't that like with her parents' bodies? Oh, I love to open mail, but this isn't for me. I don't really know what this is. Cool air comes out of it like the wind. I guess there's a hole behind it. A wind hole? I hate this bed. I'm not laying down here. I've cried so many times here. Oh, sweet thing. Um, the doctor ate an apple. I could use this as a helmet to prevent injuries when I faint. But I guess my hair does a good job too. <laughs> The doctor used to sit here and do nothing. The doc- oh, same thing? I wish this key holder had all the keys. I need to open the gate in front of the yellow door. Oh! Phil? A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? Girl! Phil, please let me out. I shouldn't scream if they find me in here. I'm in big trouble. Where did I put the key? This key doesn't work here. Hmm. What can I use? Can I use this here? Let's take pills, see what happens. Oh my god. Gross. Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. Oh, that dead girl looks a bit like me. Girl, it looks exactly like you. Well, I'm sedated and I see weird stuff, but I'm not dead. I can breathe and talk and do all the things a living person does. Oh, the wind hole. I guess this is my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. This is so di- Ugh. Oh, that rat really hit its head. I should give it a helmet. I'll just keep going and going. Yeah, girl, you just fell. Oh my god. Oh dear, where am I now? I guess I'll have to find out. A mop that dances on the floor. Mr. Midnight hates mops. He always tries to kill them with his furious paws. Mr. Midnight hates mops, same thing. Huh, cleaning products. They should clean our toilets. They're not cleaning your toilets? God, they are really doing the bare minimum here. Sponges and washcloths and thousands of chemicals. I don't think I need any of these. No water to wash my hands. There's nothing under the blanket. Old and rusty. I guess I have a place to sleep if I can't find the way out. Box is open. Let me see. Oh. There's multiple kinds. Let's take some gloves. So the gloves only nothing. All nurses wear gloves. Scraped label. Hmm. That bottle is empty. I guess they'll put some pills in it. Huh. Bad pills. I'll just take them to find my kitty. I think I'll quit when I find Mr. Midnight. Hmm. Maybe just until I take them all. Yellow pills. Huh. They look like more fun than the red ones. They wonder why I get the red pills instead of yellow. Maybe they just ran out of color. I could take it and taste it. 
but I don't want to. Besides, it's not good to eat things that might be bad. Because they're bad, so why take it? That bottle is empty. I guess I'll put some pills in it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, if I were a witch, I could fly away from here. I'd fly with my kitty while the night is filled with shining stars. And we would visit curious places because we both like curious things. Pill time! Oh! You really lose your head in this place. Hopefully I can escape before I lose mine. Disgusting. Can't take anything? No. Alright, let's walk up the stairs. Hmm. It's locked. Can I use this? Yes, I can. What if I... Okay. <gasps> if you struggle, you'll know that it was I. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. Oh, God. Oh, my dear kitty, we'll be together again soon, I promise. I miss you, my dear. I miss you so much. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. Always into the maze. At the end of the maze, Fran. Ooh. Ugh. I fainted again. I wonder if my dreams are true. The monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, maybe I can find Mr. Midnight. Maybe, girly. I don't trust. Ooh, I think we might be downstairs. Operating room. Patient. Robert Clark. Psychosurgery procedure lobotomy. Dr. Roman Bates. Bates? You say? Observation. Failed anesthetic. The patient woke up after reaching frontal lobe. The procedure was cancelled and incompleted. You didn't just give him more anesthetic? I don't know why I'm saying that because I, it's not like I want him to get a lobotomy, but like... That's what you chose to do? Ugh. And is that blood on here? God. Robert, the TV boy. That's why he had that big scar. I don't want them to touch my brain. No, sir. Messed up. You guys didn't even clean the operating room? That place does not look sterile. The operating room, I don't want to go inside. It smells like rotten flesh. Ugh. I don't want them to play with my head in there. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Hmm. Oh my lord. Oh no, poor girls. I hope they get well soon. I hope I never end up like that. I won't if I leave this sick place and find Mr. Midnight. Oh my god. She threw up and they're just leaving it? Did she die? Hello, are you resting? Did you puke? That's disgusting. I hope you get well soon. You know, I think they might have died. Oh my Christ alive. You can't blame those who are ignorant. But you can't let ignorance decide. Life will teach you even through pain and tears. My path to life has been denied. I haven't been born, but I was alive. I'm waiting for mother to love me. It ward? It says it ward. I don't know what that means. IT ward? Oh my god. Oh boy, why do you have your brain out? Is it too warm in there? Hmm, he won't answer. I guess the mice will come and have some meat. God, that's messed up. Blah. 
Oh, so I did go all the way around. I'm just under the kitchen now. I can't go upstairs. It's locked. Oh. Yes, I took the new one upstairs. Brambo? No, I haven't seen her. What? The key to the cellar? Well, no. And the doctor's office? He used to keep the key there. Calm down. The key isn't here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if, you fi if I find it, alright? Bye. Baby shaken syndrome. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I'm at the reception already. This is grand! But the nurse, I have to get rid of her. What should I do? Hmm. The key holder has no keys to hold. Let's see. Can't be done. Huh. I have to get rid of her. She said something about a key, or was it something about a kiss? Miss Nurse, I hope you want to go to the toilet soon. Hmm. Ugh, won't work. Only the key holder could talk. That would be rare. A talking piece of wood. What should I do? Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. What should I do? Oh, you're all skinny. Yuck. Are you a nurse too? Why are you hanging up there? Oh, you're all skinny. Yuck. Oh my goodness. Are you okay, little baby? What the f Fucking hell. Is that your mommy hanging up there? Do you miss her? I miss my mommy too. Alright, so that thing was dragged. I can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Oh, a love letter. Dear Pete. Ugh, gross. That's exactly what Mr. Midnight told me at the end of the maze. I wonder what's at the end of the maze. Whatever it is, I hope I find my kitty. Okay, let's see. Hmm, I don't want to be here anymore. Wasting time on the sofa thinking. Oh, my poor little cat is freezing outside. Only the key holder could talk. That would be rare talking piece of wood. Can I use it here? And there you go. Hope the nurse sees the key. Alright, let's walk back here again. Oh, the key was here after all. I better take it back. Does she enter a different universe when she's on the drugs? Oh, love letter. Dear Pete. Ugh, gross. Many folders and books. They must have a record of every kid. They sure say that everyone is insane. Wait, let me click this. Please enter four-digit password. Hmm. Turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. Alarm code. December 17th, July 25th. What does that say? This is the code Phil told me about. Very important. Is that a nine? This looks like a 14. We'll try 1725. Okay. I'm missing something. Hmm. That sign shows where things are in the hospital, but what it doesn't show is how awful this place is. It should say, welcome to the most terrible place in the world. I wonder what that blinking light is for. Sir Oswald Harrison, a bearded old man. Wonder why he built this place. He's a freaking lunatic. Maybe he had a crazy child and wanted to get rid of it. Disgusting. I can't open the door, it's locked. Um, I have to shut down the alarm, that's for sure. Maybe the paper I found in the office can open it. Yeah, I just couldn't figure out what the code was. 
It confused me. Let's try again. Please enter four digit password. Okay, December 17th equals blank, July 25th equals blank. And then there's numbers there. And it's a four digit number. December 17. It would equal 17. And so whatever these are, are the four digits. 12, 17, and 4, 25. I mean, 7, 25. 12, 17. Okay, well, 7 plus 25 is 32. I don't know if we have to add these. Hmm. Okay, it'd be 29 and 32, no? If I did my math right. <gasps> Ooh! Yes, I'm the best. The very best. Let's get the hell out of here. Ooh! We got a skedaddle. Oh god. You little bitch. I'll make you pay for what you did. You clever little girl. Do you think you can just leave? What? It can't be. No. Little kitty. The music is sad. I need to get to the maze. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, the tower. Hmm, I've never seen this fence before. I have to find the maze. I'm almost free. I can't wait here for my kitty. Let's get out of here. Following the Mew Mew. Oh, this absolute rat fuck. I'm worried about what he's gonna do to us when he finds us. Alright. Which way did he go? I'm gonna follow these, I think? Yeah, let's- let's follow these. Hmm. Oh, we don't like that. Oh, no. Hmm. I might have messed up. The music is... Oh, no, 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 no! Go, bestie, go, go, go. Okay, well, I went the wrong direction. No. Oh, he's yucky. We'll go back up here so we have time to um, run away. The little bluebird, so cute. I think this is a dead end, but let's see. Oh, it's not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. I'm just gonna keep going straight. See what happens. Oh, this is gonna take me in a circle. Or a square, technically. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get... Oh, I could have just gone that way. Wait, what is this? 
Okay, I think this was a dead end over here too. The little mushies. So cute! This is really cool, like this art style. Oh, I have a little, I guess I could skip it, it looks like. All right, that's not it. Let's see. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Onward towards victory. A little swan again. Ooh, did I do the same thing? Get myself stuck. Ah! No! 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 You little ugly bitch. Go, go, go! Oh, hell! Hell yeah! I found my way out! At the end of the maze you will find... The evil critters of the night. They will hunt you, they will laugh. But there will always be a good side. Kitty. A cat full of nuts and bolts will always be your guide. The picture! Is she gonna be findable because that picture got left behind? Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity Symptoms. Hmm. Oh my goodness, that was close. All right, let's pop out here. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. All right, y'all. I don't know what I expected, but this was like a lot sadder than I was anticipating. It is super upsetting and I can definitely see why there is a big warning at the beginning for all of the gore and nastiness because they are not messing around it's really really gross and upsetting so i hope if you're watching this please take care of yourself because like i said it's very very intense and it's a lot to deal with if any of this is activating or triggering or anything like that despite all of that i am still really enjoying it because i am not really quite sure what is going on in the overarching game obviously we're trying to find her cat but then there's this other world that she's seeing with the pills that she takes where it seems like it just totally takes her to a different dimension and i'm wondering like what's real what's not real like what's really going on and how is she processing the trauma of losing her parents and if we're even gonna find out like what happened to her parents i just don't know like how much of this is plot versus just like exploration of the psyche and things like that like i'm just looking forward to learning more about what's going on it is very intense like i said quite gory it doesn't really bother me all that much but it is just very surprising and i was not anticipating like how graphic and gruesome it was going to be but like i said doesn't bother me it obviously like gets to me if i think about it a lot like i was getting a little emotional at the beginning i didn't say anything but it was like her parents dying and being chopped up into itty bitty bits was just like a lot i'm really enjoying the music i'm really enjoying the art style i loved how it changed a little bit with the maze i think fran is like <laughs> she's cute and weird and all of this is kind of giving a little bit of like tim burton vibes which i'm really enjoying so far i also enjoy the puzzle aspect that's been really interesting um i'm kind of getting the hang of what that looks like and like what fits together to do what and i'm just looking forward to seeing how more of that progresses and i just am enjoying the mechanics of all of it i really hope you enjoyed because this has been 
a fun change of pace and I'm looking forward to playing some more. As always, thank you for spending a little slice of your day with me. It really means so much to me to have you here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and an even better rest of your week. Take care of yourselves and I will see you next time. Bye y'all.